Hello, I'm the eternal newbie. The extra L is for loathe. As in, man, do people really loathe power gamers? Like, they are pretty near the bottom of the list, and I didn't really get it. Now, don't get me wrong, power gamers are annoying, but I just did not understand why they were so hated. Like in the D&D Hall of Shame, it goes jaywalkers, murder hobos, chaotic and lawful stupid, used horse salesmen, I hate those guys, and then power gamers. I may have left a few things out of there, but you get the point. You know, though, after writing most of this video, I think I may have figured it out. I'll tell you what I think in the end. Let's get to some business first. If you like this video, let me know. If you don't, let me know. If you think I'm a giant poo-poo head, let me know. I've got other things going on. I'll throw a link in the video description. Check it out. This was originally going to be a video about the anti-power gamer. A spotlight video. You know, the player who builds useless character after useless character, then spends all game complaining about being useless. I will get to that someday, so if you have a good name suggestion for that guy, let me know. I decided to change the subject of this particular video after I asked a question about my anti-power gamer online. My post said this, Is there a name for a player who only plays useless characters? For example, a lore bard who dumps charisma and doesn't use spells, instead choosing to melee. The guy who pushes past the fighter and barbarian to go tank with his 12 AC, then complains when his character goes down in every single fight. Has anyone seen this? What do you call it? The responses varied, but just about all of them assumed I meant anyone who didn't power game. My Twitter friends were nice about it, as were most Redditors. Maybe I just explained it better there. The message boards though? Oh boy. Not so good. I was a power gamer shaming anyone who didn't power game. I was a bully. I was Joffrey, Jar Jar, Thanos, and Nega Santa all wrapped into one. I got called the D&D equivalent of Scrappy Doo, and that one hurt. At first, I did take it personally. I mean, no one wants to be Nega Santa, but then I thought, why do people hate power gamers so much? Like more than cheaters. When I first started playing, people didn't tell me not to murder hobo. They didn't tell me not to be dumb. No one ever even told me not to cheat. But they did tell me not to power game or min-max. One person, who shall remain nameless, took it very personally and wrote me a book about how horrible power gamers were. Like pages. And how I was this huge jerk to shame someone who just wanted to play an interesting character. I have an internet rule that has served me extremely well. You don't engage with people who call you names. It's not easy, but it's definitely worth it. I broke it here because I was fascinated by how passionate this person was. I asked them why they hated Power Gamers so much. I received a long dissertation in reply, but what it boiled down to is Power Gamers do not let people play the way they want. Everyone should be able to play D&D any way they want and I should be ashamed of myself. I couldn't help myself. Maybe it was a bad day. Maybe I just couldn't stand the holier-than-thou attitude this person just put off. But I broke my other internet rule and sent back a message that I knew would spin this anti-power gamer up. It read simply, Thank you for replying, but I'm still confused. You said everyone should be able to play their own way. Does that include power gamers? The reply was, uh, interesting. I thought I knew most of the bad words in the English language, but apparently I did not. I still don't know what a fop doodle is, but it sure does sound bad. In D&D terms, power gamer is a bad word and I get it. I really do. Some of them get mad at other players for not power gaming. They can also ruin the DM's hard work by crushing enemies and make it boring for the rest of the party. Oh, I have to wait for the nine skeletons and beholder you control before I get my turn? Great. I also realize I don't look at games the same as most people. Bad games equals good stories. That's why when I ran into the king of power gamers, Superstar, I play with him two more times after that, happily. A murder hobo can ruin a game, so can Chaotic Stupid and a bunch of other things. But when asked about them, no one insinuated my parents weren't married when I was born. No one talked about how my mother was well known around the local township for asking about edgelords. Why power gamers then? For some people, it's like this. Oh, you burned down an orphanage? That's not very nice. Throwing kittens into a volcano? Rude. Power gaming? Not on my watch. 
get them. My theory is power gamers tend to look down on other players more than any other type. Murder hobos know they're being dumb. Many power gamers think they are just better than everyone else, and that really rubs people the wrong way. What do you think? Did I nail it? Or was I way off? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and remember, as always, don't power game or they will get you. And your little dog too.